Hey, I'm Tamara Holder, and this is Sports Court. So another Florida State football player is under investigation. Again, Seminoles running back Carlos Williams allegedly assaulted his baby mama last week, but he has yet to be arrested or suspended from the team. What a surprise, right? Joining me from L.A. to discuss this is sports agent Lee Steinberg. Lee, this is the third player in two years to be accused of domestic abuse at Florida State. What is going on at this school? I think that <clears throat> we have to distinguish between being investigated and being arrested. So were he to be arrested, there'd still be an issue as to whether or not due process should take place here and make sure <clears throat> that he's actually guilty. But the point is, this school needs to send a very strong message. It was the national champion last year. It's in the running this year. It's the height of college football. They need to send a strong message that to whom? domestic violence... Who, who do they send a, sm <coughs> a, a strong message to? Because, because keep in mind that this apparently, allegedly, this went to the police on Wednesday. And then it was sent over to prosecutors over the weekend. As you know, you need only probable cause for an arrest. And... Sure, maybe he's innocent until proven guilty, but they don't need to be taking this long. So who are they sending a message to, and what should the strong message be? First, they need to send a strong message to their players that this is completely unacceptable. That message will resound through the community. How do they send that message? How do they send it? Shouldn't they bench him? By speaking out clearly. When he's arrested, they should bench him. But it's premature, just on the basis of an investigation, to bench him. Because what if it turns out that there are no grounds to arrest him and it just ends up being baseless? Right. Well, so we. we as you we know, still have due process in this country. Sure, of course. And I'm a criminal defense attorney. I understand due process, and I truly believe that people are innocent until proven guilty. However, this is a this is th this isn't required at a school. There's a lesser burden, a lesser standard here. And we know that L.A. King Slavin Voyov, he was recently suspended indefinitely by the NHL just for his arrest for domestic abuse. And I think that arrest. they did the right, de yes, they did the right decision. But he's a professional athlete. We're talking about kids here. What does the school do, especially Florida State? They have problems with these guys. I think what they do, first of all, is prevention so they never happen in the first place and have a, a strong program that tells young men you never put your hands on someone else in anger, especially a diminutive woman, that's first. Second of all, they speak out publicly and say this is not a place where this will be tolerated. And when there's an arrest, then I agree with you, then you suspend the player. Well, we'll, we'll see what happens. Then you distance yourself. Hopefully, hopefully it won't be like Jameis Winston where a year later they reopen the investigation and hopefully we get to the bottom of this immediately. We have to leave it there, but we will be back, I'm sure, to discuss this. Thank you guys so much for watching Sports Court. We are adjourned.